Good morning, kids, and welcome to your second live lesson, which is focusing on the story, The Game. So it is Thursday, the 30th of April, and your learning objective today is to give opinions on a text. So in your books, once you've written your date and your learning objective, underlining it if you've got a ruler. So we are giving opinions on the story of the game today. And to do that, we're going to do something which we've done a few times before. So you are all used to. We are going to create an Aiden Chambers thought grid where we divide our page into four and then label the four sections and give our ideas. So we want this to take up about three quarters of our page. Let me just move you up a little bit. So first thing that I'm going to do is create a line down the centre and then a line across the middle. Ta -da. Then we need to label all four of our sections. So our top one is going to be what I like. And next one, what I dislike. Notice the prefix there, dis makes it the opposite. Um, I would like to know, so any questions or queries you have, anything that was explained in the story maybe that you would like to know a bit further. I would like to know. And then finally, I was surprised by. So as you were reading the story and you were going along, was there anything as you're making these little predictions in your head, which we naturally do when we're reading something, did the outcome come out totally different to what you were expecting? So you've got your four sections now, taking up about three quarters of your page. So I'm more than happy for you to decide how you want to fill your sections. Do you want to simply bullet point? and write the things that you liked in different ideas going down like that. Or you could do prose and write in proper sentences, full sentences, what you liked, what you disliked, okay? I would like to know, you could simply put questions in there. It's your free reign to set it out however you like, right? So, part two is then. Once you finish your Aiden Chambers thought grid, underneath, I then would like you, please, to write a review of the story of the game. So using beautiful handwriting, as always, and always using full sentences now, in your review, I would like you to answer the following or think about the following questions. Who would enjoy this story? What were the best parts of this story? And what other stories does the game remind you of? Also, I'd like you think about would you recommend it to a friend? Now, when you're considering all these different questions in your review underneath, I would like you to have one word in your head which you need to be using all the time. And it's that special word which makes our ideas better and makes that answer better. I'll give you a second to try and think of it now before I write it down. Right, that magic word is. Now, obviously, you're not going to write it in great letters like this, but you are going to be using it in your review of the game. So, if you said that you would recommend it to a friend, I want you to say why you would recommend it to a friend using the word because. If it reminds you of something else that you've read or something that you've seen, think about the parts in the story that made you remark that reminded you of it and say because because it featured similar characters because the settings were similar because this thing also happened in this story okay so this the word because is key when you are giving your analysis or your review on something because it backs up your ideas okay? so this is how your page your work should look at the end of today's lesson your four thoughts or your four subtitle thoughts in your grid and then your review underneath now if you haven't got a review don't worry if your paper that you're going to be doing 
it is going to look totally different to mine. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry about that. If it's at all possible, can you please get your daddy or parent to take a picture of your work and share it with me or share it on Cast Dojo? Okay. Right. I look forward to seeing your thoughts and opinions on the game as we develop our understanding of this story. So, good luck, kids. Beautiful, neat handwriting. Please think about your presentation. And I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.